Facebook Live. We have arrived one more time. Kind of privileged, honored to be back, man. It's been, it's been a while. Been away. Well, I'm happy to be back. Let's get it in, y'all. I want to thank everybody for, for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo the Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on Only What I Seek the Script Study and Prayer Line. On the sixth day in um, August. Sixth day in August 2019. It's back to school, y'all. Uh, 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 Charvet, uh, Colt Don. Shalom, shalom. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Let's go to uh, Yaka 9 7 this morning. John 7. What's up, Doss? Boss Doss. Seen your son Keelan's uh, interviews. Beautiful, bro. Good to see you on Steel Wheel in the building. Cole. Hallelujah. Coat Donna. Coat Rita B. Fee. Cam. It's going down. Aaron in the building, see? Miss Baka. Uh, Yakana 7, y'all. They call him John. John 7. Uh, let's begin at the 36th verse. <clears throat> Dive in the word, y'all. Begin at the 36th verse. Look what it says. It says, What manner of saying is this that he said? Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am, thither you cannot come. Um, cut straight through the chase. What, what we're trying to do on, on, on earth is... We're trying to obtain the Messiah. He actually designed a way for us to obtain him, to obtain a relationship with him. And this relationship is eternal. An eternal relationship with him that was forfeited in the beginning. It was forfeited. The eternal relationship um, came to a halt based on the actions of Adam. And so that was rectified but there is a for the lack of a better term a formula a procedure necessary to reinstate that relationship and you got to be real serious about him in order to obtain that that formula what manner of saying is this that he said you shall seek me and shall not find me. There's a way that a person can seek him and not find him. You could be looking for him and not find him. And he's making that plain. It says, what manner of saying is this? Do you want to know? Listen. Anna, how are you doing, best singer? I love your music. Hallelujah. Good to see you on, Trenton. But, what manner of saying is this that he said? You shall seek me and shall not find me. That should raise eyebrows. There is a seeker that will not obtain. You shall seek me and shall not find me. Where I am, thither you cannot come. I know our goal, isn't it? Isn't it to uh, seek him and find him? Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. Because there is a way that you can seek him and not find him. And where he is, you can't go. You can't go. Look what he said. 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahushua stood up and cried, saying, If any man thirsts, let him come on to me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, 
Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. In, in, in the last day, that, that, that great day of the feast, Yahushua stood up and cried and said, if, if any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. Now, this is the solution, y'all, to what was said in 36. This is the opposite. This is what it takes, right? If any man thirst, and thirst is like desire, mixed with belief. It, it's, a, it's a craving. It's, it's a passion for, for the most high. And the passion comes through belief. You believe in him to the point that you, you're hungry for him. You're thirsty. You're thirsting for him, right? And he said, if, if, if you have this burning desire for me, come. Come to me. And drink. If you have this burning desire for me, come to me and drink. Um, folks in the 36th verse has a desire for him, but it's the wrong kind of desire. It, it it's more of a um it's more like of a religious relationship. It's more of a, it's not a, it's not a thirst. It's not a burning desire. It's more of a acquaintance. It's more of a religious position. It, it, it see what happened in, um, you shall seek me and shall not find me is when you don't seek him with your whole heart, when, 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 when in your seeking, you find something that you rather seek more than him is the problem in 36. It says, what manner of saying is this that he said? It, it, it is, it is um, shining the light on the type of desire one would have for the Messiah that doesn't foil or trump all other desires is the type of desire that a person can look for him and not find him because on the quest of finding him, they'll run into something that's more important to them. And when they run into something more important to them, they'll really be after that. They'll still verbally be seeking him but not with their whole heart because they're more looking for a husband or a wife. They're, they're more looking for money and, 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 and natural gain. They're not willing to cooperate with the rules and regulations necessary to obtain uh, the appropriate relationship with him to the saving of their souls. What manner of saying is this that he said? Is starting to come to light. What, what did he mean by you shall seek me and shall not find me? And where I am, thither, uh, thither you cannot come. There, 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 there is the type of seeking that will render you, you, you come up short. You, 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 you'll fail the grace, the word teaches. You'll fail the grace of the most high. So look what he said. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahushua stood up and cried, saying, If any man thirst, is if is there a desire in you that causes you to be thirsty? Now, a person that's drinking but yet still thirsty, a person that's eating but yet still thirsty, because you're thirsting for him. Your your marriage don't don't quench this thirst. Your money don't quench this thirst. Your success, your secular education does not quench this thirst. It, it's, it's not a thirst, you know, trying to you know, compete with the Joneses. It's not a thirst of luxury. It, it's not a, a thirst for physical health, vacations and fun, festivity. No, the, you can have all that, but you're still thirsty because... 
The Messiah is the only one that can quench this thirst. If any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. He not withholding no good thing from those that, that believe him, that trust him, that desire him, regardless of what they have in this natural realm, in this temporary realm, right? If any man thirsts, let him come on to me. Come and drink. Look what he say. Look what he said in 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Look, but this, 39 say, but this, uh, but, but this spake he of the spirit. See, 37 and 38 is saying the same thing. I want y'all to see that. Look what it say. In the last day, uh, in, in the last day, the great day of the feast, Yahushua stood up and cried saying, if any man thirst, See, thirst is believing on him, desiring him, wanting him. But the key is, as the scripture have said, um, the devil uh, opened up another false route, right? When he said, thou should not surely die. The snake in the beginning, I'm talking about the beginning of this whole thing, right? The snake said in the beginning, right? You know, to Eve, you should not surely die. That opened up another route. It's a false route. You shall surely die. But he opened up a route that a lot of people is flooding down. You should not surely die. People are trying to have a relationship with the Most High their way. When there's a subscribe way, the Mashiach said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. So that kills all other routes. Gandhi and yoga and Buddha, the Gahanza box. That 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 kills Muhammad in them. That kills any other route. There there is no other route. The zodiac, searching the stars. There is no other route. Self righteousness. Another thing, we cannot make up who Yah is with the, by the figment of our imagination. We're the ones fallen. We're the ones deprived. We're the ones to be thirsting after him and seeking him. And he will reveal himself to us. We will not make up who he is in the figment of our imagination. We'll say what he like, not according to his word, but according to what we say he like. We'll say what he accept and what he don't accept. We'll say what we will do and what we won't do. We'll, we'll, we'll say what we're willing to do, what we're, what we're not willing to do, as if we give him the ultimatum, take it or leave it. And that is the, the, the 36th verse. What manner of saying is this? You shall seek me, shall not find me. You're looking for him, but you're doing it your way. You're not going to find him. What, you want to be a little nicer? You can come to him and become a little nicer. You don't have him. You just know of his ways to a certain extent. But 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 those that believe that are thirsty, they're go, they're gonna drink because he is the the living water. He is the living water. What he say, you gotta obey, because he's he's your he's your very eternal life. You can't come and and say what you're not gonna do. That's 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 rebellion. That's idolatry, it's witchcraft, it's stubbornness. That's 36 verse. You shall seek me, you shall not find me. And where I am, you can't come. Because in order to come, he's the way, the truth, and the life. He's the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father. You cannot have a, re a relationship with Yahuwah. You, you can't have a relationship with Yah, the Most High. Unless you come through the Mashiach, and the Mashiach is the Word. See, the Word was made flesh. The Word lived a human life, being found fashioned as a man. The Word that, that went out of his mouth and won't return void. W w w born of a virgin, and it lived a perfect example. Died on that tree for our sins after living the perfect example. Rose with all power. And that is the way to the Father.
That is the way, and his word is the truth, and it's your very eternal life. You obeying the word is your very eternal life. So you can't say, you can, but you can't say, uh, I'm not there yet. What you mean? You're not there yet? Meaning you're not there willing? Willing, that's what that means. You're not willing to obey him? Well, in order to have a relationship with him, it takes self-denial because your flesh ain't going to never want to obey him. That's why the word says, he did have suffered in the flesh, I see some sin. Your flesh ain't going to never want to obey him. You got to be willing to obey him regardless of how your flesh feel. And that's what the thirst is about. He stood up and cried saying, if any man thirsts, if any man desire me, if, if any man want me, I'm talking about the, 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 you're thirsty with, 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 with a Pepsi in your hand. You, you're drinking the natural, the, the natural, but that's not the thirst this is talking about. This is a belief in him. This is a desire to him. Didn't he say my, my, my sheep, my, my people, my children shall hear my voice? There's some folks out here that his word trumps uh, the natural. It, it trumps their desire. It trumps their evil desires. It trumps their humanism. It trumps it. The word the thirsting, wanting him, thirst, seeking him. Th the real type of seek. There's a wrong type of seek, 36. There's the right type of seek. Ask and you shall receive Seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be open. You verbally ask, you're seeking, you're looking for him. And when you found him, now you're knocking. You're going to stand at the door and knock till it be, until it open. You're not walking away empty handed. I ain't going nowhere. Change me into your image. Give me power over myself. Give me power over this evil nature. I'm willing to suffer in the flesh that I might cease from sinning. <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to suffer in the flesh to cease from sinning. My flesh want to do it, but I'm too thirsty. If any man thirst, have a, have a superior desire for him. Believe. Look, it says, if any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. He that believe in me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's the drink. Out of his belly. The, the results of the word shall come up out of your loins, shall flow out of you. The spirit of love shall flow out of you, cooperation. You will obey his word regardless of how your flesh feel about it. Oh, that's what it's saying to you. Look what he said at the feast, y'all. He stood up and cried saying, if any man thirsts, listen. Uh, if you come to him, if you lack knowledge, James got involved. If you, if you lack knowledge, he did lack knowledge. Let him ask of Yah, who gives to every man liberally and up, upbraideth not. He don't withhold. You, you, you thirsty, you come to him. He say, drink, believe in the word and drink it. Take it in thy word if I hear it in my heart. Heart, that I might not sin against thee. If, if you do that, he'll give you the power not to sin against him. You, you'll walk in the spirit of obedience. You, you, you'll learn to tell yourself no. You'll learn to cooperate with his word. You cannot change his word. You cannot do it your way. There's a way to seem right unto a man, but the end of is the ways of death. You can't do it your way. He that believes in me as the scripture have seen. That takes out our opinion. That takes out how, what we say we going to, oh, no, I'm not willing to do that, but I will do this. That takes all, that kicks all that out. That puts that where it belongs back in the uh, 36th verse when he said, you shall seek me and shall not find me. And where I am, you can't come. The fle flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom. You, you, can't, you can't bring your naturalism, your, your humanism. The flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one to another. You can't do what you want to do. Folks still trying, that evil nature trying to to duplicate the righteousness of Yah. You can't do that. Our righteousness is as filthy rag. You can't do it your way. You got to obey. If he tell you to do it, if he said it, that settles it. Whatever he tell you to do, that's exactly what you got to do. And you got to do it the way he say do it. Bottom line, ain't no gray area. <laughs> He told you, you can't be double-minded. You can't do both. You can't serve two masters. 
There's the, there's the death of the fleshly nature, that natural man that's enmity against Yah. You got to get rid of him. You got to tell him no. The, the person you were born to be, you got to get rid of him. You got to get rid of her. You got to get rid of her. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. There's a part of us that got to die. Death, burial, and resurrection. That's the joker that should have been baptized into his death. Like it's, like it's, he, like it's the Mashiach, the Messiah was raised up. By the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. Because if any man be in the Messiah, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Who we used to be has passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I'm trying to break it down, y'all. He that believeth on me as the scripture. What did he tell you to do? What did he tell you to do? You think just because you don't know it, you, you don't meditate it, in it, it don't apply to you? You think you, listen, my children are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Folks think because they don't know it, they freed from it. Well, in Thessalonians, he, I believe it's one, he said, in flame and fire, take vengeance on them that know not Yah and that obey not the Bessaray, the gospel of Yesh Yahusha, our, our Mashiach, our Messiah. All the excuses was nailed to the tree. Come on, y'all. That's why he said, search the scriptures for them you think you have eternal life. And he, he put the thinking because he was talking to the Pharisees when that scripture was, was, was quoted. Because they were tr going against the Messiah while still trying to seek salvation from the Most High. But you cannot have a, 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 a relationship with the Most High without going through his word. And the Mashiach was his word made flesh, but the flesh died on the tree and it's out of here. The only thing left is the word. In order to believe in the Mashiach, the Messiah, the rescuing word is to believe in the word. And to obey it. It was the word that was made flesh and dwelt among us. It, was, it just so happened to be in the body to prove that man can be led by the word. Man can be rescued from himself through the word of the most high because everything he created, he created it through his word. Go to the beginning and watch him say, let there be light and there was light. And he, and he divided the firmaments and then he made uh, all the herbs. And the thing. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Go read it. But he that believeth on me as the scripture have said, I got to do it his way. It's his way or the highway. It's Yahweh or no way. He that, he, he that believeth on me as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. The, 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 the living water you were thirsting for. You were thirsty for his ruah, his spirit. Didn't he say the words that I speak on to you are our spirit in life? I think that's Yachanan 6 and 63. The words that I speak on to you are spirit and life. You want eternal life? You want reconciliation? You want a relationship with the creator? The only way to do it is through his word. You can't do it. Ain't no other way. We got to learn to obey. I be mean, pleading. Pleading with his children to be able to identify the enemy. The enemy is you. The enemy is you willing to go against him while verbally claiming you have him. When you don't have him, you need to know you don't. And prayerfully, your thirst level will increase. He said, you got to love me with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. You got folks that love things more than they love him. But one step of getting healed from that is to know it. Religion hides that from you. Religion will give you a relationship with him that's illegal. Religion will, will cause you to convince yourself that you're seeking him, which you are, but you're seeking him illegally. You shall seek me and shall not find me. That's the seek a lot of people is on. You shall seek me and shall not find me. And where I am thither, you can't come. You cannot come. You cannot eat, eat of that eternal life, that tree of eternal You can't do it. You will not manifest the obedience necessary. You won't do it. You always going to find something or someone that's going to take preeminence over the word. It could be your anger. could be your pride. could be your lust. could be your greed. could be a man or a woman. could be uh, your money. It could be... It could be you, your attitude, you have in your way. Whatever it is, it will supersede the word. You folks are always going to move in the wrong way, unfortunately. But those that belong to him, come on, get your thirst level up. 
If you found something or somebody that, 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 that you thirsting for more than him, you disqualify yourself and where he is, you can't go. The way you can't know. He's the way, the truth, and the life. You can't, you can't do it. Uh, not in your flesh. You got to give yourself up in order to get this. You, you got to turn on yourself in order to get this. You got to be willing to be baptized into his death. That you might that you that you might get up from there sitting down. Uh, y'all can't use you sitting down. Come on, y'all stay with me spiritually, not physically sitting down. Spiritually sitting down. You just sat down because you met something that called you to sit down. You rather sit at the table uh, with trying to get your love life right. You you might you might be sitting at the table trying to get your your carnal education right or your your carnal uh, 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 finances right. Folks choosing stuff and think. Folks will find a way to try to do what he asked them to do, but they're going to do it their way. No, nah, he said do it this way. No, nah, I ain't. Mm -mm. I'm going to do it this way. We got rebellion. We got witchcraft in us. But, but, but what, what trumps witchcraft, what, what trumps idolatry and stubbornness, what, 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 what trumps us trying to do it our way is the proper level of thirst. And in that thirst, which is in the 37th verse, it, 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 it is exposed more in the 38th verse because it says belief, <laughs> believeth, continuous belief, believeth on me as the scripture have said, that's the thirst. Believing on him according to the rules, believe on him according to the word, not the figment of our imagination. I know he'll appreciate this. No, what he appreciate is you obeying his word because our righteousness, oh, we're going we gonna to figure out, you know, we're going to figure out uh, how we going to do it. We're going we, we, we to figure out, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go feed the poor. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do because you don't want to do what the word told you to do. So now you want to go carve turkeys. You want to you want to go to carve turkey, pole turkey. You want to carve up the turkey on the day that these folks came and kept all the indigenous people of the land and jacked them. So you want to go on a false holiday, hella day, and you want to carve turkeys to feed feed folks because you don't want to do what he told you to do. You don't want to show up like he told you to do. You don't want to give like he told you to do. He told you to. You can't believe on him your way. You can't substitute your righteousness for his righteousness. I'm trying to break it down for you so that the captives can be set free. You 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 can't you can't you can't start carrying old ladies' groceries across the street as a way of not doing what he told you to do. You do what he tell you to do. See, we gotta believe on him. We gotta believe on him as the scripture have said. You can't lay up with them. He told you. He already told. Well, we gonna get married anyway. He did already told you. He that believe me as the scripture, look, as the scripture have said, we got to learn how to have a relationship with the, with, with the most high as the scripture have said. And only like the scripture have said, Yachadon got beside himself when the Mashiach came to him to be baptized. He, he realized who he was. He, he knew that he wasn't worthy to even unbuckle his sandals. So he was like, man, I want to be baptized of you. Go on with that religious stuff. We got to do it as the scripture have said. It's true. His, his humility was real. <coughs> Excuse me. And true. When he realized who he was dealing with, the word made flesh. He knew who he was dealing with. And, and, and he was so humble. He was like, I, I'm not even worthy. You right, you not. Do what the scripture said. Don't get religious on me now. Don't don't think that you so in awe, so star struck that, that that's going to take the place of, of, of obedience. Uh, obedience is better than sacrifice and to hearken to do what he said than the fat of the ram. Don't come with this religious piece. I know you're star struck. I know you appreciate me. I know you're in awe and you're like, wow. None of that is getting you into heaven. The only thing that's getting you into heaven is to believe on him as the scripture have said. You got to obey the word, y'all, because out of your belly will flow rivers of living water and the rivers of living waters. You're going to change. The rivers of living water is the actions of his word. Being obedient to his word causes one to walk in forgiveness, causes one to walk in love. Action, Jackson. I'm about that action. It's all about the action. What do he say? Yeah. 
It's action. That's the rivers of living water flowing out of you. You show up, you give, you love, you forgive, you, you're studying to show yourself approved, you're, you're patient, you're kind. Johnny on the spot, right on, Johnny's. Yeah. He that believeth on me as the scripture have said. As the scripture have said. What the word said. We got to do what the word said. Religious stuff, go ahead, go feed them. Go help them, yeah. Help them clean, wash the car, clean the carpet. That ain't excusing you from doing what the word said. Your flesh might be pretty satisfied. And that's that seeking him and you ain't going to find him. And where he is, you can't go. We want to go. How many of y'all want to go? Well, then you can't do it illegally. Good deeds. Mm -mm. You got to obey. He that believed with me as the scripture have said, out of his her belly shall flow. Rivers of living water. You start cooperating. How many of y'all want to cooperate with the Ruach? With the spirit of Yah? How many of y'all desire him enough to do it exactly what he told you? Don't add to the word. Don't take away. If you add to the word, he's going to add the plagues, he said. You take away, he's going to take your name out of the last book of life. And out of the new Jerusalem. You ain't going to be there. You can't go. We got to do it his way. 39th verse and we out of here. But this spake he of the spirit of the Ruah. We had that thirst thing in the rivers of the world. He's talking about the Ruah, the word. Which they that believe on him should receive. For this is the Ruah HaKadosh. His spirit was not given yet. Because he had not died on a tree yet. It was completed when he died on a tree. He said it's finished. And he gave up his Ruah. He gave up his, his human Rua, because that Yahushua was not yet glorified. He had he had not yet died on that tree, y'all. But now, he has. So now we can receive the Rua, which will lead and guide us, which will prove that we're his children. We're sealed with the spirit of obedience. Fol folks think they got the Rua because they spoke in tongues. You go to one of them voodoo sessions, they speaking in tongues too. The rivers of living water, the Ruah, will flow out of you. People will be able to see you different than other people. People will see the love that you have. People will see the patience that you have. People will see the cooperation. People will see you literally give your life away for Yah's life. They'll say, oh, you're not the same. Oh, you're not the same. Folks, that's in the 36th verse, I'm trying to let y'all go. But folks in the 36th verse is seeking him. They won't find him, meaning they're looking for him religiously and they're not going to find him. You will, you will not see the spirit of love coming from them. You will not see forgiveness coming from them. You will see some people that will show up. They ain't going to give. They ain't going to forgive. They ain't going to, they're not going to do it. I care what you say. They'll swear to their last dying breath. I ain't doing it. You ain't going to find him either. That's proof that you haven't found him and you can't. Well, you can. You really can. But you can't in that state of mind. You got to be set free. Your thirst level got to come up to the point that it, it destroys the yoke, what was holding you. And, and it sets the captive free. You should know the truth and the truth shall make you free. You're intimate with truth. To the point that it destroys the lie, that, that stubbornness, that idolatry. Ah. Ah. We need to rule out. And we need to obey it over ourselves. We can do it, y'all. We can do it. And we will. How many of y'all thirsty? I, I can't get drunk. Too thirsty. I can't get high. I'm too thirsty. I can't can't commit adultery. I'm too thirsty. No fornication here. Too thirsty. I gotta forgive. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. The desire to have for him is way more than me being stingy and won't, and won't do what he told me to do. I'm too thirsty. Real talk. Come on. I'm speaking with you. I'm too thirsty. So so out of my belly. Your belly, y'all. 
is flowing the truth of his word, rivers of living water. This is the Ruah, y'all. Having his spirit living in you. <laughs> Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before your holiness to know how receiving the truth of your word, your truth uh, will, will set us free. We'll know it. We're intimate with truth. You're the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by you. We're coming uh, lawfully. We're coming according to your word. We're coming according to the truth of your word. We're not making up the rules of a relationship with you, having a form of Yahweh and denying the power thereof, but we submit. We submit to truth. The word is going out of your mouth and we're not returning your void, but we'll accomplish what you please. And you pleased your word to rescue the believer. It's the unbeliever that's con condemned that will seek you and not find you. But we're the believers. Seal us with the truth of your word and we'll be careful to give you the praise and honor, not only now, but forevermore. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we only pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was the lesson for today. We pray that the word found you, unbound you. If you were bound and you're in celebrations, uh, um, if you weren't bound at all, but just celebrating being rejuvenated in truth, we thank Yah for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Boy, I'm so happy to be back. Pray that the word found you and you absolutely loved it. In fact, if you did, you get a chance to push the share button. I've been away for about three, four days, three days, whatever it was. Seemed like eternity to me almost, but you get a chance to push the share button. If the lesson blessed you, feel free to do so right now. If you are one that eats from this ministry and you believe that the word is true here and you've been giving, I want to thank you all for you. I want to open up the door to those <coughs> that would like to support uh, the truth of the word in this ministry. If you have the cash app, you can. All you got to do put in dollar sign Yahuda Israel. That's dollar sign Y. <coughs> Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. Again, dollar sign Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. And feel free uh, to sow your seed. Good to see you on, Alina. Um, Yeah. Y'all be Baruch. I think I, I I like that word. When I preach, I be listening to. Tell you the truth. He just fill me with the ruah. I go forth. And uh the food is for me too. Y'all wanna talk about the word this morning? Let's do it. All you gotta do is dial 302 202 1102 extension 815648. Again, 302 202 1102 extension 815648. You can call in, get a prayer in, and talk about what you got out of the word. Is that all right? Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch, Baraka Shalom. I'm gone.